control. Yeah, it's true. I have two dogs, Milo and Mimi, two little brats who have brought countless hours of joy and love into my life. Unfortunately, they've also brought countless hours of jumping on guests, barking, and eating food off the counter. As you might imagine, I was desperate. Maybe you have this problem at home, too. I turned to the Miami Dog Whisperer for help. Shut that dog up, please. Be quiet. Cesar Milan made a name for himself on TV as the Dog Whisperer. But when this soft-spoken trainer gets a dog that he can't handle, he turns to Richard Hines, the Miami Dog Whisperer. I actually took over a case of his just recently. So he was here in Miami and couldn't get it fixed on TV. Alex Rodriguez, A-Rod, I was working with his dogs. A-Rod Schmerod, here's the real challenge. 10 pounds of fur, drool, and disobedience. Meet Milo and Mimi. Well, this is part of the problem, Richard. A little greet. I, usually I'll be like, I'll say, you know, down, down, down. That doesn't seem to work. We used to have a really nice table. But um, then Mimi came along, and she decided to sort of give it a new look. It's called the chewed look. What does that say to you, Richard? It, it's anxiety. Anxiety? For sure. Despite Mimi's appetite for Ethan Allen, Milo is the problem child. In this hidden camera footage, warning, what you're about to see is tough to watch, you can see Milo enjoying an afternoon snack on my kitchen counter. Gross! Richard, help! The truth is, they see you as dysfunctional. So then they become dysfunctional. Now starts to either cause dysfunction, you made them dysfunctional. Dysfunction, dysfunctional, dysfunction, dysfunction, dysfunctional. You're gonna find out who you are, why you're here on this earth, and what the meaning of life is. Look at me when I'm talking to you. <laughs> Free for all. Okay, no, no. Well, we have so much work to do. <laughs> yeah. This is the normal walk. Uh, Them yeah. walking you. Yes. And just doing what they want, going crazy. There's no respect. Okay, so we have to turn this around and we have to teach them how to walk correctly. After a few trips up and down the sidewalk, Mad yeah. Milo was under control. He doesn't even know you and he's listening to you. Good. All right, Milo. What you gonna do? He's not listening. Yeah, well, there's no asking him. Oh. Now, he's a little too far. Turn around. Hey! <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Could you move out of the way, please? I think they're different dogs, Richard. Can you give me a grade? We got a B. A B. Honest. We got a B.